Can we just kill them? We can just kill them. Wow. Alright, so I'm glad we were correct on the racing. Alright, we got there. Yes! Alright, what do we got here? Let's see. Creatures you control with a plus one plus one counters on them have a base power of four, of four four flying and angels. Should we try to make that happen? Safest pick here is obviously for a boarding statue. I think that card is absolutely fantastic. Goes in every deck. There's also bleed dry. Man, that's tough. That is actually kind of tough. And this is pretty cute. I don't quite think that does it. Hmm. Bleed dry is solid. Yeah, let's just take the solid removal. I mean, that's probably one of the best cards in the set. See if we can keep going down that path. Looking at Gift of Fangs, more removal looks good. Also, Bloodsworn Squire. This card is played out better than I anticipated. What's this do? Exile target creature card from your graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on Patchwork. Patchwork Crawler has all active abilities. Oh, lol. That's kind of funny, <clears throat> considering what we just pitched, right? Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna go with Gift of Fangs. Have removal, kind of stay a little on the open side and see what happens. Um, though blue may be getting past, and I don't mind being blue back. I know a lot of people are not a fan of it, but I don't mind it. Sport Crawler, also a shot of the pack. So they took a common, uncommon, or two, un a common and a rare. So that might not be a sign, but I think Child of the Pack is absolute house. The card is a beast to deal with. Um, Sport Crawler is another card that I like quite a bit as well. But uh, yeah, I like this card. So we're going to grab the Child. Uh, let's see. White getting past. No red, no green to speak of. So it's between... Griffwin, Calvary, and Distracting Guys. Man, now I kind of wish I had taken the uh, that white card. There's also a Arch Ghoul of Thraven if you wanted to go that route. Um, I think this card is fine. Um, considering that we have two black cards, I really don't want to veer off. I just haven't been impressed with white, to be honest with you. So yeah, I think we're going to take Arch Ghoul of Thraven, see if we're the black zombie deck. All right, well... <laughs> Skullscop is definitely a card. It uh, it puts Child of Night out of the contention at the moment, but I don't know. There, we could also take another safe pick with Doom Dissenter or Desperate Farmer. Both of these are quite solid. There's a late Reckless Impulse to go with <clears throat> our Child of Night if we wanted to. Go red, black, splashing green. Uh, hasn't seen green going by. That's a late Scob. We could be a blue-black deck and just not kind of play into the... Um, exploit i think that kind of deck is fine you just get additional value off of scob but that being said yeah let's just take dissenter over farmer right now or is it farmer oh yeah let's go with doom dissenter for the time being uh let's see here land bear cobbled lancer all this looks pretty medium to me so i think we're just gonna take the rot high gargantua uh we have one card that feeds into it already and, you know, we kind of want to be black, so I think I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, really, probably Last Rate Flesh is the next best card, but really only wanted one of those in my deck. So, let's see where we're at here. Another Gift of Fangs. I think that's fine. Just early removal. Could take the Evolving Wilds as well, just to facilitate the splash. But, I don't know, I, I like Gift of Fangs, especially if we do end up being the Vampire deck. It doesn't look like we're going to end up being that deck. Uh, we haven't seen vampires go by at all. So I think we're going to be fighting, but maybe we get black in pack two and then can kind of pick our second color in pack three. Uh, let's see here. Take another Gargantuan probably. Also, the Binding Geist is pretty solid. I actually like that card quite a bit, if I'm being honest with you. We can get Edward's Awakening pretty late and without having too much. Hmm. Yeah, I think I am going to wait until we dive into this blue-black deck. Just going to take Rock. 
uh, Rot Tiger again for right now and see what we get in pack two to uh, kind of pick what direction we go in. But baseline five, four for five is fine. It's not amazing, but you know, if we can occasionally snag a creature or something, maybe eat our wolves off of uh, child of the pack. I think we're okay with that. So we'll see where we go with it. Two fangs, bleed dry. And maybe we're holding on to bleed dry a little early. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. So we can make a decision. We can take millipede. We can take disciple. That's pretty much it. Don't really want to take the throng. So sure, let's take disciple in case we're green, black, which is a deck I actually don't mind being in. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, uh, I think you you have a chance of locking in some really solid four fours for four, which I think go the distance in this format. So ooh, squire wield. Okay, there's also a Dying Malice, but we can get that late. And Diver Scob. So, I mean, that makes me feel like Blue Black might be open. Maybe we just take Diagraph Scob, but I feel like we got the better of the two, right? Um, I think, I mean, this, it could arguable, right? So let's just take the Vampire here. Stay as close to Black as possible. Ooh, nice. 2-2 two, two for 2 in our colors, and it's a Zombie to combo with Arch Ghoul Thraben. I like that. No green, so I don't think we're gonna be green if I'm completely honest with you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and just snag, I guess, the uh, Undying Malice. I don't mind running one of those. Uh, all right, we'll take the Scob here. We may end up still being blue back. It looks like it, blue's gonna be that open. Um, we'll see if we get hooked up with something sweet. Uh, let's see here. I got excited for a second when I saw the Uncommon. That card always gets me. Uh, Diagraph Scavenger over Blood Fountain. Man, I'm happy running two fountains. There's also a Braid. Um, I don't particularly care for the dual land, obviously. I think we're just going to snag... Hmm. It's between the Diagraph Scavenger and the Blood Fountain. And I think I'm going to take the Scavenger. We don't have any fours right now. We have one four. It's also a zombie. And this card does a great job of kind of gumming up the board. And, you know, uh, Scorpion's another one I like a lot as well. But once again, I'm I'm going to have to look for a really solid card to put me in green, just considering that we saw no green in pack one. Um, minus that child. But once again, they took a rare and uncommon, so that's not a big sign. Yeah, Parasitic Grass. We're super happy about that. We'll take that in a heartbeat. other cards in here once again binding gas it's probably the card that's gonna put us in the blue honestly because that card's great it's good at attacker it's a removal <sighs> we'd like to see some better cards come our way honestly but you know it is what it is it's in the point of the draft format now where people kind of know what's going down all right we'll take a cruel witness I, th I think this is going to be put us in green there's a spore crawler we could take that there's a magma pummeler which i think is a great red card <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, I kind of feel like this blue black deck is getting tossed at us, so we could probably wheel these binding guys and have a chock full of three drops. I like Spore Crawler a lot, but we're just not seeing any green, so I'll make the call and we'll audible into it. Uh, of course now. <sighs> oh, gosh. So I regret not taking that Spore Crawler. We're gonna take Flourishing Hunter here. I don't care for Scattered Thoughts. Crawling Infestation, we're not really the mill deck. Ancestor and Traveling Mist are both solid, but I mean, did we? Nah, that's fine. We'll just take this one. I guess we'll still maybe stay open. I'm not sure. Gaining four life off of our uh, Flourish Hunter seems pretty sweet. Man, wish I took that Spore Crawler. Gosh, oh, it was close. It was close. I don't think we were. I don't know. Maybe I should have. I don't mind blue. I really don't. I know people are pretty low on it, but I actually don't mind it. Um, yeah, I think we're fine where we're at. <laughs> Man, so much black. I would like either another bleed dry or another grizzly. We're, we're, we're not in the blood deck. I think between limited resources and um, Lords of Limited talking so highly about blood, I think it's going to be very difficult to get into that deck. I think you're going to end up fighting with people, which is why I'm kind of okay being not in that deck, right? Because then hopefully our card quality is significantly better. Uh, we'll see if something gets passed to us. All right. Um, yeah, these green cards don't really scream out, which is what is the one I like the most. So I guess maybe this is the decision we make here. We'll take Binding Geist 
come off of green now. I need to see a really good green card to kind of make us go into it. White may have been open as well, maybe. And then obviously can't splash the, uh, we're just gonna take the Binding Geist. Card is great, card is great. Gives you two cards for one. It's sometimes removable on the back end, which is sweet. So I should load up our threes, really looking to see how we can take over the game. I like Steel Clad Spirit as well, but you know, uh, Syncopate Specimen, so we'll just take this uh, Soul Cipher board. I think it's fine. We're not really the mill deck, but we're gonna have a little bit. We have what, two exploit cards right now? One, two, three exploit cards. We're not really gonna exploit Ghoul. Like that card is just a two, two for two. Like don't, unless your opponent has one card in hand, like you don't wanna do it. Then exploiting it early in the format while I was trying to experiment with the exploit deck, I was very disappointed in the way it played out to be completely honest with you. Let's see. Ooh. All right, I'm glad we made the switch because Thirst for Discovery is a fantastic pickup for us. Super happy about that. Hopefully we get, we get rewarded in pack three since we saw so much blue go by. So yeah, we'll take Thirst here. Could discard an Edgar's Awakening. I think we just take our first specimen at this point. I don't particularly care for either of these cards, but I guess it's serviceable. Um, I think we're gonna be good on threes. Hopefully another one of those Binding Geist wheel on this pack. That'd be sweet, kind of round out our threes. Where are we at? One, two, th three. I really don't wanna play the Spirit. I have a hard time playing cards in Limited that have some kind of limiting aspect to them. Either they can't block or they can only block Flyers or something like that. It's just too high of a chance for it to kind of get you, you know? Um, we don't really have a way to gain life. We could probably take a Phalanx just to be cute, I guess. I think we're playing it. There's a kiss. We'll take the scattered thoughts. Uh, I don't think we're going to get uh, the bride, but you know, we'll see. All right. Let's see. Well, all right. Speak of the devil. So we're going to run up. It's just a recursion spell. We we don't have expensive things. We, we You kind of have to be soul tie for this to work, honestly. But it's still a 1-4 flyer that gets a card back if we really want to. Uh, Witness. Probably the next best card in this pack. It's probably Gluttonous Guest. I think I've been very impressed with that card. Uh, we're not the spells deck for Wizard and then Cruel Witness. So if it wasn't Stormkirk, I'd probably take the Cruel Witness just to have more flyers, but card's solid. We're not really gonna flip it, but just the fact they could put a card on top, right? They kill a rot hide, we put it on the top. If we pick up another rare, maybe. So I'm fine with that. Let's see here. Uh, Stalker seems amazing, actually. So let's grab this gutter skulker that's awesome just give me unblockable we don't have huge things it's probably best on like our rot hides but still unblockable is unblockable and i like that now there's a binding guys oh there's a bleed dry yes remember i told you earlier i would like to have a second one and there's our second one so four pieces of removal be happy about that maybe a fifth you know with our uh Binding Geist, because like I said, they can stop a small creature from attacking. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, do we get any more rewards here? Let's see, nothing. There's a Syncopate, which I don't think is horrible. We could take our Ceremonial Knife, or we could take our Grizzly Contest, or Grizzly, Grizzly Ritual. I think those get passed pretty easily, so let's go. Yeah, it does look like White was pretty open. Let's take a knife here. We have a couple of evasive threats. We can upgrade our guys. Uh, Butler versus Bloodseeker. Let's get Bloodseeker. I've, I've liked Bloodseeker quite a bit, to be honest with you. It just gives you a little bit of inevitability should you flood out. A third Bleed Dry? Wow! Okay, so we we're I'm definitely glad we didn't waste picks on those Grizzly Rituals. We are in the right spot, ladies and gentlemen. This thinks that we're passing up a Desperate Farmer, but, I mean, removal is removal. And these are going by fast. Holy cow. Uh, I don't think we're playing it, but we could take the Entomber. Um, I know Lords of Limited are higher on it, but I've been very unimpressed. Uh, we could take another Rot Hide if we wanted to. Actually, I think I'm going to. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to take another rod here. Make some cuts later. Ooh. Geist over Blood Fountain. I've really liked Blood Fountain. But we also have nothing completely busted in our deck to get back. Yeah, I think we're still going to take the Fountain. Uh, yes, please. Okay, all right. I'm going to take it over Steel Clad. It just, once again, that card has continued. Wow. So we have a lot more playables than I thought we were going to have, which is pretty funny, honestly. I was not expecting to have this many playables. All right. Get a throng if we wanted to. Whatever. Crawling Infestation. Do, do, do. <laughs> Get a Grizzly Ritual after all. I don't think we're going to play it with three um, Bleed Dries. All right. So, yeah. I, I think we have a deck, chat. I think... We have a deck on our hands. Gonna have to make some cuts, but I think that's okay. Really, man, oh, that's right. We have a Parasitic Grasp too, wow. We're looking, we're looking really good. I am very happy with the way this is playing out. Gargantuan's Bleed tries. so Sworn can pr honestly probably go. Well, we are gonna fuel our Void. In the top four cards of your library, put two of those in your hand, the rest into your graveyard. So it's kind of a draw too, but we have thirst. So I think we can, oh, we got it. <laughs> wow, and we got a, a, another one. So I'm definitely glad we didn't waste any picks on that. But I don't think we need to play him in the stack, honestly. Oh, a scavenger went to the, the market. That's a little weird. All right, so are we even running Storm Kirk? When Rune of Storm, Storm Kirk enters the battlefield, put up to one target card or grave your, uh, card from your grave on top of your library at the beginning of upkeep, look at the top card. Yeah, whatever. So it's a flying 1-4. Whenever the Slory attacks, create a token that's copy of attacking creature. Yeah, we're just never going to flip it. Like, literally, I actually don't think we play... I mean, he's a 1... Well, I guess he can wear a knife. So Malice can go. We don't need Malice. Specimen's fine. So, let me see. 1... Two, three, four, five, two drops. Probably get rid of a rot hide. Gutter Skulk's fine. Let's have four cards. You're gonna put two of those cards. So this is fuel our graveyard. We have thirst. All right. So we can get all oh, spirit. If we want to go with the knife plan. Maybe we just don't care about knife. How many flyers do we have? I think this is not a flyer. One, two. So we're really kind of relying on three. Oh, we have Skulker as well. This guy turns into a flyer. So yeah, let's get rid of thoughts. Let's see, four more cuts and we have so much removal kind of like that so we could probably go down on creatures i mean do we really care about specimen i like having the 2-2 i mean ghoul is just a 2-2 but it's also a zombie i'm trying to think if maybe specimens is better than than the ghoul maybe i've never had this much removal it's kind of funny Yeah, I don't like camp block, so I'll get rid of that. And then Scorn Perk getting back a scavenger seems pretty sweet, right? Yeah, let's let's put the specimen back in. So one, two, three, four, two drops. That's not many, but we do have other things to do. So I'm okay with that. Right? We have gift of fangs, we have board, we have knife and stuff we could play. Go down to 16. And then Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the spirit. I, I really don't like cards that can't block. I feel like it ends up being a liability more often than not. So one more card. One more card. Is it a gift of fangs? I don't like being able to just kill everything our opponent plays, to be honest with you. I think it's This guy may or may not actually be fairly big. Um, just because of the fact that we have 
still like this card's oh yeah eh. all right i mean this card i don't know i've been impressed with it but it's also not completely backbreaking but i guess the same could be said for crow witness so i want some things that we can eat We will run this, guys. All right. See you in the games. All right. Uh, this one seems fine. We'll keep this. Might actually even pitch. I kind of like that to go up a card. Well, shoot. That's kind of value as well, lol. Yeah, do how, how greedy we want to get in this value train. I actually don't think that's horrible. I mean, we're being a little on the cute side, but we so we could discard this, then summon it, and then pitch it. Like that's kind of dirtily, but I mean, it does get us on the board. We can also just play this. I'm not quite sure what the right answer is, to be completely honest with you guys. This is the more mana efficient thing. Discard for one. Discard this, then we have three. Summon it back. Sure, whatever. Let's see how cute we could be. Why not? Why not? Risk case scenario, we could play Stormkirk. Oh my goodness. Okay then. That's a little annoying. A little. We're still gonna try to value. Discard a card. Get a card. Play a card. And then do we geist that? Ironically, we could put that back into our hand and then, yeah, actually, well. That kind of negates us getting the card back, right? Trying, I wonder if we just play this so we have the flyer. I think we just do. Putting it back into our hand. Well, it doesn't. That's right. I think we skip this. I can't imagine they don't play a card and tap it. So we'll play Geist next turn. Okay, that I am totally okay with that. Uh, decline. We're just playing that. I don't want him to snag it. Like we have options, right? We can like, oh, we can actually just exploit that. Huh. I actually don't hate that. It's better than it being exiled, actually. So I think. We'll, oh man, we don't have the man to do both. Oh well. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright. Keeps it somewhat protected. I mean, I guess if they pitch that, it's fine. I normally like playing this as the creature, because that way when they get rid of the creature, we could still bring it back. But if that's what they discard, it, it discards, right? It doesn't exile? Yeah, okay. So I have two things to block, and we're kind of okay losing both, honestly. So that worked out a little bit in our favor. Mm, that guy's a little scary. Nothing in their graveyard yet. We can binding guys to scare them. We still just do this. They missed on land drop. That is important to note. All right. Yeah, got us. Okay, fair. Ooh, I think they got the wrong one there. I think they got the wrong one. Ugh, missing our other land drops rough. Missing our land drop is rough. Let's get in there. And then play our Geist or play our Scavenger. I think we play our Geist. I 
I guess, I don't know. They're, they've been pretty patient about those curtains. Could have played, they was playing Soul Cipher. Ooh, they got the combo. They're gonna start drawing some cards. So we gotta start getting in there. We have removal though, so there we go. It's a step in the right direction. So we can exploit Binding Grass. We can attack as well. We can attack. No, this has to attack by itself, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Attack by itself. Uh, all right, solid. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'll give it to him. I will give it to him. Uh, let's play here. And I think we sack here to get a dude. Because then we can binding guys like the... We can binding grice the scavenger. Oh, so, wow. I'm impressed that they did that. That was their card draw engine. I'm very surprised that they did that. Yeah, they're both good hits for sure. Yeah, I think they took the right one as well, honestly. They can't attack though. Geist, fair. Ooh, another one's kind of sweet. So if we attack, they double block here, we can eat their life gain. Yeah, I kind of like that, honestly. And we could still bring back a specimen or play Doom to center. We also, I wonder if we should be playing this guy earlier, actually. Whenever a creature card is put into your grave from anywhere, move an omen counter. Yeah. I think we should have played this a lot sooner, honestly. Alright, so if we attack, they just block here. So... Get specimen back, I think is correct. No attacks this turn. But next turn, we'll definitely get in there. Stop there, uh... I mean, it was good to attack last turn because they would have had double lock. We could have gotten the revealing eye away. I think it's fine leaving them the Geist. I mean, of note, we also haven't drawn any of our removal yet. So, funny thing is, people are going to prioritize Stormkirk because they, you know, it's a rare. It does stuff. But the fact is, in our deck, it does absolutely nothing. See, we, so we have a couple cards that could deal with that. I wouldn't be surprised our opponent attacks now, and we'll happily just block. Well, actually, let's get our dupe back. There we go. I like that. That helps quite a bit. All right, let's summon this. Put it there. And then if we attack... Yeah. I like, I like being active here. Clean our opponent's board. Okay with that. Good, yep, that resolves. Then we play our guys that could block that pretty easily. We have specimen to get us another 2-2. Two -two. Alright. We still have a good block for that, so it's fine. I would like to see our removal though. We have all kinds of removal. <laughs> Now our fangs don't do anything. I wonder if the correct play is to take out a fang and put another land in. Or put back that dude. Not really sure. Uh, let's see here. Guess we could have activated that. If we swing, what happens now? They double block. Man, I want our removal to get the two for one. So I think we have to wait, sadly. Uh, we'll just play Doom to center. Keep a, a swamp in our hand. This guy attacks, just get block man. That was pretty good. All right. We will hold for the time being. We can get back scavenger. Maybe I should have attacked with Gargantuan actually, so we could have ended up turn. Yeah, I should have attacked with Gargantuan there. 
I mean, they're in a position where they could just take it as well. But they have like a double block here. I guess taking out Purifier is good. So they can't attack us, but we can't attack them either. So we're in a bit of a stalemate here. Oh, goodness. All right. Come on. I have all kinds of removal that deals with that. Oh, I see what they're trying to do. Uh, yeah. We will take that. Here. And, oh, wait. Actually, I think I like leaving that guy. Let's go here and here. So it's like not even a two for one. Only gain a one counter on that. We don't send anything to the void though. Oh, nice. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Bear. Okay. You're saying they didn't attack in the air though. So, oh man, come on. Maybe I should have blocked there to get it back. Uh, we can't. Uh, I guess we bottom the knife. That feels bad. We can get them. Yeah. This at least lets us dig. Yeah, I, mm, we need removal. We just, that, that card's gonna win the game on its own. So we just need removal, unfortunately. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think we just hold here. So they're gonna start gaining some life. We need to draw, and we had a window. We have two fangs on our deck, and we're one, at least two light, okay. I guess maybe the knife would have allowed the guys to start getting in there. Yep, that happens. Let's get blocking the air. Is a three two though? I'm only trying to figure out how they want to attack. They've been pretty conservative, but I guess with Voice of the Blessed in hand, they're we're on the board. They're they're feeling pretty good about their chances. Yep, we, we need to draw a Fang before this thing starts. Either or, either either. Uh, all right, so let's do uh, this first, I guess. Thirst and cruel. Gosh, all right, let's just tuck cruel, I guess, because this draws us deeper. And then do this. Pitch a lamb, we'll draw it. Gain of life. So thirst. Oh, I guess we could have held a thirst as well for a lamb. All right, cool, excellent. All right, come on. I want to try to kill this this turn before they draw. All right, whew, boy. We got very lucky there. We dodged a huge bullet. They're still gonna gain a life off of that, but at least they don't have like an automatic draw, right? <sighs> We're still gonna take some hits in the air. <clears throat> so we need to get, next turn we get back Cruel Witness and Scavenger, it doesn't seem bad for us. I wish we could get back this turn. So because we're gonna do that, we're definitely not gonna attack. They get to go digging. All right, so there's one piece of removal. We got there, finally. Yeah. <clears throat> so we need two of our uh, bleed dries. Or actually, one bleed dry for voice, and then one bleed, or, or whatever, grizzly, yep, okay. 
Doesn't gain him life though. Does give him some good blocks. So the question is, do we even bother getting that back? Sadly, I don't think so. You're on a clock, for sure. I think we have to grab our diagraph. Oh, man, they definitely built around their rear. I can't knock them. Man, all right, come on. Hot hide. Oh, we don't have ways of gaining life, so this card loses some value, unfortunately. I would like to play it, but I think we need to draw the sack. Alright, so what are we doing here? This guy can... Oh, this guy can't block? Oh, can only block creatures with flying. Okay. Well, that thing is going to be annoying. So we need to sack something. Draw two cards and discard a card. And that's board activate. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> This just kills that, right? I think we have to draw into our removal. Arch school is not going to do it. I mean, we're still gonna play him. I think we have to leave the spirit back. Maybe they don't attack. This thing, how many counters does it need on it? Four. Oh, God. Yeah, so we can't we can't afford it. We can't afford it. I think we've fallen too far behind now. I wonder if I should have been more aggressive, but I don't think we were in a position. There was that one turn where I definitely think we should have attacked, but other than that, the way things have played out. So we, we can grab Cruel Witness. All right, well, their removal is better than ours. Wait, why? Oh, it only has two counters on it. Okay. Oh, losing that was huge. So we have enough to get, yeah, and they draw a card. Oh, the blood is real. Oh, they have a creature we can eat. I guess that's the only thing we can do, right? I mean, whenever a zombie dies. So this is kind of another way to dig. Though, this, all right, this is one turn away. All right, yeah, I think we have to. As much as I want, well, we, can, we can't do both. Let's just fire this off. Get back, Cruel Witness and Scavenger. Play scavenger and I'm gonna play a land and let's see if we attack does anything happen no oh, they just take it so I think we have to just preserve our life total isn't this nuts we have six removal spells in our deck nine left oh <laughs> hey I mean that's the way the cookie grumbles sometimes so we'll have to use the first one. Yeah, we literally have to go runner runner here. Okay, cool. They're giving it to us. We'll, we'll take it. So the question is now, I know this, so we just put everything in front of voice, right? Oh, I see what they're doing. They smell blood in the water. So they're actually making it to where we can't just block bat because I was thinking about just blocking bat. Okay, yes, please. I think we go to one. I guess we can also block with Binding Geist and use that. All right, so I think we just go to one. We go to one, and then this has to be our dry, or bleed dry. If not, we're just dead. So 
So I want to play this on something, right? But this is the only way to stay alive. Can we do... Yeah, we can sack this. But this is... Your opponent messes up. See what they sack. I mean, I feel like they just sack the one three, yeah. So we can minus this dude block here. We still die, yeah. Oh, so close. Man, isn't that crazy? Absolutely crazy to me. All right, let's give him the chance to mess up. Wait, how does this work again? Whenever you cast non creature to look at the top card, you may put that card in your graveyard. Yeah. Oh man, they played such a good game, but we had answers in our deck. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> oh, all right, on to the next one. At least it's best of whatever. You get three, you get two, two losses. All right, game two, and uh, this hand seems serviceable. We'll keep this. The trick is not to try to get maximum value off of Skull Scob, right? And just. It's fine being a 2-2. Two -two. We have a 2-2 two -two into a 3-3. Three -three. I think that is the way to go if I'm being completely honest with you. So we shall give it a shot. Let's see. Still going to drop the fountain on one. Just kind of keep with our curve should we need any additional stuff going on. But overall, I like what we got going. Opponent taking some time to think about their hand. Let's see. Well, uh, I mean, there's not much else to think about it. Uh, I guess we're still gonna do something like this. And then that. So. After last game, I think running 16 lands is still fine. Um, we seem to have had plenty of gas. Definitely glad we picked up the one fountain when we did. Up against green, all right. What you got going on? Fine. Got a little value off of Scob last game, last game, but our opponent just had maximum value. Uh. So we could play this in case they kill it, but I think we'd rather just play Geist. Because Geist will facilitate another attack, and I think that's what's more important. So we're going to play Geist because it does do a minus 2, minus 0 on attack. So that lets us kind of get in there. But granted, it is only 1. Fair. Ooh. What does this guy do again? Okay, so he just flips to be big. So if we attack, he just blocks there. We can attack here. Play Stormkirk just to play him. Let's see if we can get some value. Attacking with both doesn't seem feasible. Let's just attack here and see what they do. If they block, we're fine with that. I don't think they will. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's not a, that's fine. Uh, question is, do we want to play, put that on the top of our deck? I don't think that's good enough. I think we're just gonna go here. I feel like that's actually a good exchange for us to be completely honest with you. We treated a three for a three, but this can get bigger. 
Oh, okay. That makes so much more sense now. So much more sense. I was like, it, I'm, I'm not computing. Now I get it. Guess we could have played that, but whatever. If our opponent's that good about trading off, then we will. Uh, decline, we want to draw that. Uh, do we want to draw another 3-2? I think it's fine. I think drawing another 3-2 is fine. Like, it puts us a little bit behind on mana, but... we With two removal spells against Green White, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Famous last words. Plus, it also gives us the option. If we need to, we can Binding, we can, uh, binding Geist plus Dissenter. So, there's that. Overall, I mean... I think we're fine. We've kind of have traded a card for two of theirs, you know? And they're uncommons, no less. I mean, granted, they're kind of replaceable, to be honest with you. I haven't been very impressed with that card, but still. I mean, right now, we're kind of technically, hypothetically, up on cards. So we'll see if that kind of plays out. They're in the tank right now. They, I didn't see them reading Stormkirk. If it's something we're really worried about, we can bleed dry it. If it's not... Okay. Yeah, I... Don't think we're particularly worried about that, honestly. I mean, we're just gonna get him for one. We could probably pitch the center if we wanted to, but... I think we're kind of okay with that, honestly. Yeah, so it has to, yeah. We're just gonna attack for one. Get in there and then play our ghoul. Send it back. Like, there's a world where we can easily just kind of kill their big things, but... So this is probably gonna be a big creature, so then they can put a counter on Like, this is kind of scary if they get it going, but... It has to be human, right? And it has to be... They have to be able to put a counter on it. So we get punished here if they play like the bird, right? The bird that, or the angel, I'm sorry, that puts plus one, plus one counters on something. So that is a thing. Then we probably will just bleed dry it, but. Would like to see our knife, put our knife on our, see if they're reading our cards. Like, yeah, we'll just snap off the double block. Like. Obviously, we prefer to leave do the double block of bleed dry in our hand, so it could be a two for one. But yeah, it looks like yeah, I, I almost I feel like they got. So unfortunately, we are gonna fire off the bleed dry. Never one or more counters or put on one or more humans you control. Draw a card. I really don't want this flipping if i'm being honest i think we can keep attacking for one in the air kind of do want to get the two for one though right i feel like there's some value there oh man this is tough i guess if it flips it's only a werewolf yeah if they go to attack, then we'll double, we'll kill the cadet. Cause this will give the cadet, uh, 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 I don't want them to draw cards. Oh. Yeah, nice. Okay, that makes more sense. So I'm kicking myself a little bit. Luckily we have the answer for it, but that's still a little on the scary side. I mean, we're just gonna exile it. We can, we can bleed dry it, then bleed dry this, and then swing for six. Is that good enough? I don't know. I mean, we can also. Oh no, you can still attack. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna exile that. It's a solid card. Very scary. We're just playing that and construct. Ooh. Ooh. Man, so close to flipping it. We're gonna decline. That with Dissenter feels pretty good to me. 
Are we going to let him draw a card is my question. Are we going to let them draw a card? Also just binding guys that. That also takes it off night. Let's do that. Like a part of me feels like we're killing what's already dead, but want to be a little proactive. Maybe we wanted to get the nah. We want to get back like some more good stuff. Oh, man, six is a lot. I might try to build around this card and construct it. Do a card. If that card cause card value with mana value six or greater, reveal this way. Transform. Copy of another turn. Two of those. Krakens, Leviathans, and Octopus. Octopi. Gotta see what we have of those in Constructed. May try to do it. The old Runo deck. Runo Reanimator. Splash Fire. It's put Storm Seeker in there. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, and you're gonna keep though, that's a little awkward. I was taking quite some time to be on the tank. Okay. So, actually, you know what? Ugh, I just thought about it. Playing the Geist was wrong too. Now that I think about it. Because then when they sack this, like it just gives them automatic card to sack to it. Yeah. I messed up. <clears throat> I unfortunately messed up. They just sack that, draws them a card. Jeez. All the trigger is unlimited. I mean, they have two good sack targets now, but I still think it's fine. We upgrade a card. Yeah, I should have thought about that a little bit. Did we know? Yeah, we didn't know we had Rot Tide. I didn't think about it. I should have thought about that, but a little bit longer. Statue? Okay. Okay. So nothing we're particularly scared about, actually. Hey. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, so now we're going to grab something. Probably this. Fine, we'll draw it. I think we just sack a 2-2, two -two, honestly. So, if we attack with two things... Problem is they have to double block. We're only going to kill one thing, but... I think keeping... We may just bleed dry. We'll see how our opponent blocks. May want to lose the... Keep the bleed dry for here. I'm definitely glad we didn't burn our removal on the cadet. Cadet's done borderline nothing. If our opponent gives us the chance here, I think we will take it. Yeah. I guess we could. I didn't think about that. I guess there is a world where we could have blood dry the spore crawler. Because then they wouldn't draw the card off of it. Ooh. That's a little scary. Are they going to attack here to draw a card? They could, technically. But it doesn't look like they're going to. What a difference this game has felt now that we actually saw a removal versus last game where we did not oh this guy's a vampire too so he wears our our stuff and things man i guess i should have uh fired this guy off last time <laughs> trade half a card for half a card Ooh. Decline to show it. Let's get in there. Because now we'll play this post-combat. That feels pretty good. Can't attack with this guy, unfortunately. Still. But here... Oh, that's great.
can technically still save our guy. Technically. Is that worth it? No, we want to kill the statue. Yeah. We just let this happen. Then we can get value off of our Gigantuan. They're left with one thing. And then, yeah. I, I think we're doing all right, Chad. I think we're doing all right. Those resolve. Uh, that can go to our graveyard. Then play our other Gargantuant. Ooh, they have a fast spell now, or is it just because they can tap that dude? And I kind of want to eat our Scob. I think we've got our value off of it. Even this guy wouldn't trigger another 2-2. Uh, Relentless Seeker. Problem is we do oh we do have a way to gain life decline we will leave that on top okay fair so they want to give that dude double damage okay like yep seems fine to me we will decline that problem is if we a space I think we still just swing here. A spacing with double strike means that none of these guys get through. We could get gotten here if they have a uh, web, right? But once again, we have our fountain. Actually, you know what? Huh. Huh. Actually, just make him sack that. Get back Scob plus Gargantuan. Let's get back Doom Dissenter. I guess they kind of do the same thing, right? Opponent's still in the tank. I think they're trying to figure out how to play this. Do we want to give it to him? You know what? Whatever. If they want to do that block, that's fine. Because then it just means the next thing they play, we can make them sack. And then they'll know because we're going to draw the Rot Tide in front of them. Okay. Legit. Legit. So does Grasp do anything? Unfortunately, it does not because this is a punch or a bite. Okay, fair. We'll let it happen. Uh, don't need a land. We can take that action. Alright, they kind of got us. Now the question is, do we want to play Bloodseeker or not? Because, you know, end of turn, grab them, do it again. I think that's probably safer, honestly. So we're going to pass the turn. We're going to make it night again, unfortunately. But I like the fact that we can, if they play something we can't handle. It's a little annoying. Make them sack it, so that's fine. I think we just get back our two dudes. We got plenty of sack fodder. So we're just going to, like, removal out our opponent. He's still been alive because we keep just doing one damage to him a turn, which is a little frustrating. But, you know. Fire this off. Get our Gagantuan and our Gagantuan back. It is going to be my turn. Uh, now I kind of wanted that land. Decline. But I guess we could pitch that to this. All right. Player Gargantuan. Eat a dude. We can sack Gargantuan as well to itself, but I think this is just better. Let's get him for five. And pass it back. And then we have another sack outlet. So I think we're good. We got there. We got there. Only took a hot minute. These are Krakens. 
Why don't you flip on those Krakens? Oh, that's so annoying. It has to be a creature. Reveal if a creature card with mana value. Yeah, geez, talk about being specific. Oh man, I know they're upset about that. Just because we just used our fountain, that would have been a ton of value for them. Uh, I would like to pitch that though, but I guess we might as well pitch this. All right, let's uh, rinse. Oh, but also grasp. You know what? I will grasp. Wait. The game your end step, you gain life this turn, create a blood token. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. We're, we we got it. We got it. Uh, we'll do the human side. This is a human. Excellent. Get into the red zone. It feels so good when you have all the removal unlimited. Play that, and then we won't uh, filter this. Make a token. Excellent. So this guy has to survive until the end of the turn. Good game opponent. All right, that was close. But we got there. Woof. Thank goodness. What a difference a removal makes. <laughs> on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. So this one land too many, but I actually think I am going to keep it. Because we have a two drop. I think if we didn't have a two drop, I would have considered it a little different. But I think this is okay. Our, our deck has felt a little mana hungry, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I think it's just because we have so much stuff to do every turn that... Um, but once again, it's only two games. So are they going to braid this? I think we're okay with that. The sooner they use removal, then the less removal they have for our flyers. They do not. So let's get into the red zone. Then for one, unfortunately. And then we will... Binding Geist. This is a solid card against Mono Red, I feel like. Or not Mono Red, but the aggressive decks. All right, that's fine. I mean, once again, we, we get a card back out of it. I feel like it's a braid. It could be... Yeah, I feel like they would have fired off the uh, the one card if, if it was a thing, right? Uh, let's play. And let's jam. If they want to trade, we're okay with that. They simply want to block. Fair. We're gonna play our dude. This is probably what's gonna eat the braid. That's what it is. I wanna just get on the board early, especially if they're red, blue, because they kinda wanna try to leverage their aggression, right? I feel like if it was the two damage exile, they would have done it on the Binding Geist, honestly. Like, it makes sense why they didn't do it on the Bloodseeker, but you might as well get your value off of Geist, right? Having the Bleed Dry in hand feels pretty good. I would like to keep the 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 Binding Geist, though, should we draw one of our two Gargantuans, but what are you gonna do, right? Yep. We'll take it to the three. You got us there. Oh, that's right. This one creates... Uh, there's consideration. I should block there. Braid. Yep. Seems fine. Now the question is, do we leave finding guys? Ooh. Alright, well, that makes it easier for us. The question is, can we race this? Can we race this? We get in for five. They get in for three. We want to leave this back. I'm trying to think if we just give them the free attack or not. Right? I think we race. I think we race. We have the removal spell in hand. Next turn we can flip this into a 3-3. So. Nice. Doesn't exile it. So see, I'm definitely glad we attacked when we did. Take it, you get it. I think we still win this game. Question is now if we pop off the bleed dry on this or not. I don't think so. Not until I have another piece of removal. So we'll hit him for two. And then we just sack him. And then we can ping them if we want. Or we can binding guys that close either way i think we need to leave this for like a real threat 
Do you dig again? You are not. It's so weird that it flashes sometimes. Oh, we could do this pre-combat too now. Well, shoot. Alright, let's do that. I think we're just gonna play our land. Sack, sack. It's a little all in ish, I will admit. Is this only a sorcery? No, this is whenever. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like this. We have some options. If they kill it, we can fire off the Blood Fountain to get it back. We can also activate end of turn. I mean, we can't bleed dry now because of the way we had to tap. Oh man, that was so... Gosh darn it. How huge would that have been? Man, I almost played that too. Alright, you got me. Turn for two. Ah, oh, man. So close. No, it's not what I wanted to see. So let's see, one, two. Can get both back, is that good enough? So if we play our land, this is a black to activate, right? Yeah. So we can minus that the bleed drive for their big i just still feel like they're gonna play something big they're gonna get another token but i think we just do this oh man you have been too conservative with the bleed dry get to keep digging I'm getting a little low on life but they're on they're at five I feel like our deck can get us there see I kind of want to kill that one two three four one two three so let's eat pull these two back not the worst we can actually use that to kill the scob so let's play what they know oh that's awkward no it's not oh yeah it is oh deck should manually tap that we're gonna keep digging for answers for sure and like i said i I don't know. Like maybe I was too conservative, but there's no way, right? There's no way to know how many how many creatures this this deck was running. Like if I did kill it though, it would have been a pretty healthy life total. There we go. See, that's a good target. That's a good target. I wish we could do both though. Oh, missing that one red is really frustrating. Or one black, because I would like to kill both, right? We could essentially kill both this turn. Which is a scotch annoying. Uh, decline, we want to draw that for sure. We attack in the air. So we can like equip, equip, go here. Do we think they double block? <laughs> I 
Oh, you know what? We should have gone here because it happens whenever it deals damage, regardless. All right, let's see if they kill our dude. I think I messed up, honestly. Yeah, they are going to double lock. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Excellent. That worked out better than I thought. That worked out way better than I thought. I'm not going to lie. I thought they were going to double block to kill our Bud Seeker. <laughs> uh yeah that resolves i think i should just equip there anyways uh let's just do this we're about to draw a bunch of cards and i like this guy being bigger our work on it is pretty sick honestly all right so it's on them to find answers to our deck and now we i think i'm still going to all right well i'll just bleed dry that Chill the grave, okay. Ooh. Ooh, opponent. Can we just kill them? We can just kill them. Wow. Alright, so I'm glad we were correct on the racing. Alright, we got there. Yes! Nice! Man, if this had a blue source, I'd be all over this hand. But sadly, luckily our opponent goes first, so we don't necessarily go down a card. Yeah, this looks great. We will happily keep this. Um, yeesh. I'm super greedy, though. Gosh, I'm so greedy. Hmm. It's between Binding Geist and Th Ghoul, Arch Ghoul. Yeah, I think it's I think it's that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong because we do get some value off of ghoul, but this kind of gives us inherent value, right? Like you've seen it a couple times already in just this draft where it's been pseudo removal. Man, I would really like to put one of these on on Stormkirk if we can get there. Honestly, just because it makes him a three five flyer or a three six flyer, which is significantly better. A larger clock. There we go. Solid target. Solid target to give the fangs. And we'll do exactly that. I'm up against red green. So Geist will do some work here. Menace, not quite as good. Not quite as good. I think we still want to be power efficient. We'll go ahead and play Binding Geist. Obviously can't block, but comboed with Seeker next turn would be sweet. We have to be careful of sure strike so we have to definitely position ourselves in a way where we can get a potential two for one off of bleed dry so i think we can do that um ooh. Ooh. i think we are gonna play that just to continue to be mana efficient right because there's gonna be a world where we can and we we Really don't want Bloodseeker to die right away if we can. Like you saw the difference he made last game. So I guess if our opponent attacks, we'll know if they have a trick or not. Um, probably going to let the first attack through. Which is awkward because we're going to flip the werewolves. Which, oh man, that's so frustrating. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, okay. Nice, nice. So that makes me feel like they don't have oh hmm. four four and a four three okay yeah they have a trick so i think we just wait it's kind of revealing but wish we could play something it's unfortunate. I really don't want them to flip, but it's the only way. Like, if not, we get blown out by Sure Strike. So, I think the double block here doesn't look that suspicious. This thing deals two damage to us now. Man, we're on a pretty tight clock. Not gonna lie. If we had six mana, that would be perfect. Because then we could play Bloodseeker, not cause them to flip. It'd be a little more hidden. They're probably trying to figure out now if they want to play another werewolf or not. Yeah. 
Problem is they just let this happen, so I think so. Sleet dry is kind of expensive, but I hope this works. If this works, then we can kill the Ravager with uh, Bleed Dry, and I'm, I'm okay with that exchange. Yep. You have another trick? Feels like it, which is unfortunate. So we, we're down to... Ugh. It's gross. We might just be dead. Maybe, maybe I should have pulled the trick out last turn. Oh, all right, I'm just gonna do this now then. I'm not gonna try to get a two for one. I just can't afford this thing to go off. So this way they only deal two to us. It stinks, like I would definitely like to get. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in a bit of a pickle. We are in a bit of a pickle, for sure. Uh, we have a little bit of a life gain, but I just... We got two for one, they got a two for one. We just kill that. Killing it lets us play two spells. I think the only problem is they can usually just not play anything, right? We leave this guy, these two back to block. Yeah, I think we just do that. I think we try to get another two for one. It's hard to tell if they have a spell now because of the uh, the blood token, but we just have to leverage our stuff at this point. We feel a little silly. You know, when they play like a worm or something this turn, but what are we going to do, right? We'll just double block. I think that's better than... Gee, oh man. Unfortunate. And this exiles, right? I think it does. If I remember correctly. All right. Oh, no, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's fine. That's fine. Yes! Oh, that's exactly what we needed. All right, let's get in there for one. Just a little bit of a life buffer, you know? Yeah, we needed that. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, do... oh, that's right. They all exiled lol. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay. I think we need to try to flip this guy just because we're low. Could Skulker. They're digging. Okay. Though they have all the mana they need, so it is a little scary. We've burned two of our premium removal spells. We still have... Or three. We have three left, right? Two left. We have a Bleed Dry and we have a Thirst or whatnot. Okay, they're out of tokens. Man. Okay. Okay, opponent. I see ya. I see ya. Uh, do, 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 do. This guy blocks. We just put it on him to get in there? One damage just seems so medium. We can also just binding guys that and attack with both. Attack here. Leave that back. Give them as few draws as possible, but it leaves them with a creature. We can I really want to flip this. But I think we I think it's just better to dig. Yeah, so you know we can just attack and then play this guy. Yeah. They're binding geist. Then if they want to attack, we could just double block. They have a trick. It's a little unfortunate, but at least they didn't get rid of the Diagraph or anything bigger. 
We could technically binding guys that. Maybe we should have. Just to get our double spell. Oh no, it is day. Alright, so we might probably won't wait on this. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have the worm in their hand. Interesting. There's no mana pump spell, right? I'm a little confused. Oh man, right before we could have. Uh, let's see here. I think we just played as a 2-2. Two -two. No exploit. 2-2 two -two might be better than 1-3. Nah, it's fine. Uh, Skulker, no. We can minus 4. So is this a worm? Because they could have played that. Oh, shoot. That makes so much more sense now. I am so glad we exiled that. Holy cow. So they needed the black. Okay, so we double that. Leave this back. This can block here. So I think... Here... Like, oh man, we could have flipped that. Uh, low key kicking myself. Low key. Makes so much more sense now. So we have to be careful what we kill. Fair. I mean, I, I, I guess I can't get too mad at that, right? Let's see here. So we used our three bleed dries. We can get back these two. They're digging. So we, now we're just straight up on D. We're on one. So... Yeah. Oh! Nicely done! Nicely done, opponent. All right, they got us. Fair. Ah, oh, man, I just didn't want to give them that many cards that draw. You know what I mean? Wow, we had a lot of answers, and they just outplayed us. Nice. All right, yeah, this is a great hand. We will keep this one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we were wrong in the last game. I, I just like you know they had they drew they had to draw a removal spell plus a creature to di or have a creature in their hand to discard so i don't think we were in the wrong way we played it um you know we did the best we can i guess it was a consideration to maybe yeah no if we we yeah no we were right we were right uh, all right fair i think these just trade uh we'll hold our removal yeah because i'm in my head i'm thinking like olivia would just killed us being the flyer right because we could have put yeah <clears throat> Ooh. Fair. Um, so we definitely need to kill that. And I think we're going to go off curve to do it. So let's play a swamp in case they play a human that we can kill with Parasite. And we'll go ahead and kill this now. Just do it before they get any more zombies. No attacks. Send it back. Okay. We have a target for that. We'll take two. So, value versus value. Um, I don't want to walk into an exploit or something like that. And this is a good target for this. So, let's just go ahead and do it now. Like, we have no way of potentially sneaking out a two for one. So, let's just stop them from getting value, right? That negates their attacks. Interesting. Interesting. Uh... I think I kind of like gumming up their board. I'm gonna block. I think I'm okay with that. Like if it changes up the way they play their stuff, right? 
let's play we could no we have a bunch of threes so i think we're just going to cruel witness here you have the counter spell okay yeah see so i'm okay with that maybe that's why i did it they had nothing else to do with their mana okay cool we have a nice clean removal spell for that they're tapped out so let's do that uh yes we're gonna decline i want to draw that Trade three for three. No, I think we're fine. We're gonna play two things that could block next turn, so I think just getting in there is fine. We're gonna kill it anyways. Sweet. So I'm glad we did. Uh, so we're gonna go... Let's go... Oop. Let's go here. And we'll play Geist, because Geist can attack. Before game back specimen. And then next turn we have the ability to thirst plus specimen. Okay. It's a little scary. Our life total is still healthy, but that is a little scary. You have two more pieces of removal for it. This is instant speed, so we can do nothing this turn. Shrink that, and we can shrink this. They just block there. All right, you got it. And we're not gonna go digging. We know we need our tokens. They are going to, it looks like. No, they're not. So they value what's in their hand. That's not a good sign for us. Scob, okay. Sack, get max value, seems good. Those all resolve. gonna get four four that resolves we're going to thirst for discovery <laughs> gonna pitch a land gonna get back our specimen of course our green engines look horrible with a specimen of their own unfortunately uh let's see here so we are gonna play our land we're going to tap to leave up bleed dry. And then we're going to send it back because we do have a double block here that gets rid of the serpent. So I don't want to be too ambitious with our bleed dry. Hmm. So let's see our opponent attacks. They have a couple of good attacks for sure. They're definitely wider than we are. Mm -hmm. See if our opponent lets this happen. One good bleed dry deserves another. So, kind of a one for one, unfortunately. Yeesh. All right, let's go digging. Mm. Okay. We are at a holding pattern. We both are, but they have a way to draw. So let's see. It's kind of the mirror. Two bleed dries. We got rid of two quality cards as well. Uh, they got rid of one. Actually, wasn't there we go. I mean, still garbage. <laughs> and this is a zombie, which is not a skeleton, unfortunately. Uh, I'm trying to think if we wait till we can get our value guy off of it, but I don't think so. I mean, maybe we could wait a turn, right? Make an extra 2-2 out of it. Standing here waiting. Maybe we can kind of get them. Yeah, like, I mean, 
Ugh. All right, so they do a little better than we did, unfortunately. <sighs> it's rough. That is rough. Decline, and let's play another dude in the back because now we have to be the aggressor here. Keep our lands in hand so we can filter because we do have these. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, uh, left them both on top. That doesn't bode well for us. Okay, this helps. It's not amazing, but it helps. Seems fine. Uh, we'll just have to pitch it at the end of the turn. Because drawing it now doesn't do anything, right? I guess we could play a... Alright, yeah, let's... Because we could play a land if we need to, if it's like a dry... Uh, a bleed dry. So I have the three to play the specimen. I mean, it's a ton of mana. That we're... Oh! Ah! Just shy. Oh, maybe we'll do that next turn, because then we can nab something. I mean, it's probably just going to be a 2-2, but it's something, right? Might just actually equip it to the Gargantuan next turn. All right, we'll end the turn, not waste too much of our opponent's time. They get it back. Oh yeah, they could have done it in response. That's right, never mind, never mind. Disregard me. All right, Stitcher. And they still have the mana to get back. Nice. So I think we're stuck like Chuck. So they kind of have what our deck wants to do, except they get to do it. Unfortunate. Yep. Yup. So I think we're kinda dead because like this is unblockable, that's evasive. It's gonna tax our removal quite a bit. Uh that helps a little bit. We really need our drain there. Man, our deck's kind of not let us down, just kind of not worked out the way we wanted it to, you know? All right, let's get in there. We gotta make something happen. This is a zombie. It is a zombie. Oh wow, they took it. Well... I feel like that's a sign. So... I think... We could just sack this to gain a life if we need to. Like, sacking this would have loved to trigger some things. Playing this. I think I want the insurance policy. Just in case. So they have seven that we can't block. Yeah, I think they're gonna try to go wide. So maybe just gaining the one life. So they have seven we can't block. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, exaxes. Well, and never mind. We, we have blocks, so. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Poets in the tank, I think they're trying to figure out. I mean, they just, yeah, yeah, fair. That resolves. That's probably gonna be enough to kill us. I'm not sure, I'll wait till they, they uh, alpha. And get back our cruel witness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Checks out. 
that kills the Scob. But I don't think it's enough to get us back into this game. We need something more, don't we? Yeah, I think we just have to take that out. I, I don't think so. I think we're stuck. I think they just accrued too much value at this point. Yeah. Okay, make the appropriate blocks. So let's see. Block two, block three, block two, blockers, sack, discard, do, 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 I don't think it matters. I think we're dead. I'm just not going to do the math. Here's the bleed drive, but I think it's just the scotch too late. Oh yeah, exactly. It's nice. So I was right. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, that's all she wrote. Unfortunately, that will do it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had fun. Kind of funny, a deck that had so much removal and like I found myself lacking. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of whatever time it is for you. And until next time, as always. Happy gaming.